book. Uh, Wimbledon might be taking a break, but don't worry because you can still get your tennis fix. And here to tell us how is the one and only Sue Barker. Oh, oh evening, Sue. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you both. Uh, well, so obviously Wimbledon has been cancelled this year. And I mean, news today that Djokovic has tested positive, which is a huge reminder. Why, isn't it? Absolutely. World number one testing positive. But if anyone's seen the, the pictures in the papers over the last few days of a couple of events that he organised uh, in Serbia, where they were in nightclubs, they were playing football, playing basketball together, shaking hands and... and oh, there uh, you go then. Well, that's, I'll do it. That's clear up that mystery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's no surprise that not only Novak, but uh, there's actually six uh, members of that uh, that tournament that have tested positive now for coronavirus, along with, you know, Grigor Dimitrov did and Borna Chorich. And it does put, I suppose, in some ways, doubt about the US Open when tennis wants to start again, because have two events like that you know they've mm. got to be much stricter in policing how the mm. players go about playing a tournament otherwise the sport's not going to get going again no now you've still got obviously wimbledon's not happening uh, sadly but there's still loads of uh, action taking place over the wimbledon fortnight and um, you've got a special program coming up yeah yeah, we do. We're, we're, we've got lovely tennis all through the afternoon and then I'll be there in the evening between eight and nine with a sort of a live show that is going to have obviously all the great moments from Wimbledon past. But I'll have guests with me like Tim Hemman will be here, Boris Becker and all people. We'll be looking back at some of these great matches. I mean, this final back in 2008 was one of the best. Borg against Mac Rowe. Mac always tells me he won the tie break in that one, but he did end up losing the match. And the great champions and the great moments of Wimbledon will be reliving all of that. We'll have about three matches each night and live guests. And I'll also be, uh, we'll be paying tribute to some of the great stars of, of the past, like Arthur Ashe there and uh, Pete Sampras. We've also got uh, tributes to Billie Jean King and Martina and Bjorn Borg and all that sort of thing. So Brilliant. it's going to be a real mix, a quite a lively sort of hour. You know what those sort of programs are like. And uh, it will just be a lot of fun. Live guests there, like Tim Hemman, Boris Becker. Brilliant. Uh, Pat yeah. There. Joe Conta, Heather Watson, so it'll be busy and, and it hopefully... It sounds be good. But, it, I mean, yeah. and a tough call for you, Sue, because you do live and breathe Wimbledon, but what mm -hmm. is the one moment that you always like to look back on? What was, you know, in the last few years, what was the moment for you? There's only one, 2013, Andy Murray, picking up that trophy at the end of that match. I've never heard or seen an atmosphere like it. It just was incredible that a player comes to come back from the tournament that he had the year before losing to Roger Federer ending up in tears feeling like he'd let the nation down to come back the next year and beat Djokovic who is so tough to beat and beat him in straight sets and to to celebrate that I'm not sure he celebrated that much he was almost in a daze but I was wow. on centre court there the atmosphere was amazing I could hear all of them on the hill behind screaming yeah. And then seeing the whole country react. It, I think everybody can remember where they were on that Sunday where he won. It was brilliant. And we had um, him and his brother, Jamie, on the show on Friday. Now, so this is the thing. He may have won Wimbledon, <laughs> but he's very bad at the wheelie bin challenge. <laughs> because this is a challenge that's been online and stuff, and you've just got to try and get as many tennis balls into the wheelie bin from 25 feet away. And we stitched Come you up on, a bit, Jamie. Sue. And we decided yeah. it might be fun if you gave it a go. And luckily, <laughs> you agreed. <laughs> so Andy scored zero. Zero. Wimbledon champion, zero. Yeah. Uh, Jamie, he did a bit better. But how did Sue Barker do? Shall we find out? I've got my excuses, though. This is not my racket. And I've got no tennis balls. These are my dog toys. <laughs> right, here we go. Are you ready, Charlie? You're the ball boy. Tell you what, that dog couldn't believe its luck. That dog was losing its mind. There was just tennis balls everywhere. Yeah. Make your mind up, love. But I mean, dog toys and just six goes. You are, well you are a clear winner. Really. Very well done. <laughs> I'll take that, Alex. No, my poor cock is back. He was so exhausted. He slept for the rest of the evening. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank yeah, you, Sue. Thank you, Sue. Uh, Wimbledon Rewind and Wimbledon, the best of the championships, will be on BBC Two from the 29th of June.
Uh, Dr. Ange joins us shortly with advice for parents.